who you are, knowing who your enemy is, because every species on the planet has an enemy. You don't see mice hanging with cats. <laughs> you understand? See the hyenas yeah. with lions. You yeah, that's when they fucked enemy. it up with Tom what and Jerry got need, cool together. What else do your enemy need to do to show you he's your enemy? Yeah. What else do they need to do, bro? I don't get it. You know, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? And we Listen, not our Michael enemy. Chip, you take the microchip, your name is going to be written on one of the nuclear missiles in the silos in Russia or China or Iran. All right? The Most High is coming back. He's sending his son back. These are all the prophecies leading up to the second coming. He's coming during the second. As soon as the missiles are shot, the sky is going to be full of chariots. You don't got to believe me. I'm telling you what the book said. Y'all never believe me. But then when you see it on the news, damn, Baz was they right. Wanna, yeah, they want to hit you so, like, yo, I saw that. Yeah. All right, so yo, man, well, I think we covered a lot. Greatmillstone.info. Yeah. Those brothers right there, those are the prophets of the Most High. Those are the, those men are all over the planet, all over. All right, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do rule well. And a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity by Shimra Kakwadash. That was Shabazz, the disciple, speaking on Great Millstone. And um, I'm not too familiar with that that brother's music because he is a rapper. But um, I guess, as you can see, he has, uh, you know, he has heard the prophet speak, you know, and that's obvious because he is a uh, he is speaking about uh, the prophecies. OK, and, and, and the only group. That is heavily into prophecies is Great Millstone. Okay, we are the Israelite group that is very much, you know, sent focused on prophecies, you know, and 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 so this this man is he's he's very much a disciple, you know. Whether he's part of the election, I don't know. Okay, but I but I do know that he has heard. Okay, he has heard the word in 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 in, in its in truth. Okay. And at the end, you heard him say, great millstone dot info. Those are those are the, the prophets of the most high. OK, and that they're all over the world, you know, and that's very much of a, of a truth. You know, the prophets have been raised up. OK, and through the spirit, you know, you're supposed to be able to exercise and discern who is speaking the truth. OK, what Israelite group is speaking the truth? OK, because, you know, we know we're Israelites. That, that, that's a given. But you need to know who's speaking the truth. All right. And I want to start here. This is uh, Sirach 44. And one, let us now praise famous men and our fathers that begat us. Okay. And um, the, the, the apostles are, are very much famous. They're, they're very, they're well known. Okay. There's a lot of, they, there's a lot of people that are woken up to the fact that they're Israelites and, and follow the apostles, not just the brothers in the camps, but there's other people like, you know, this man Shabazz, a disciple and other people that are not necessarily in a camp, you know, there's families out there. It says, and our fathers that begat us, and they are our spiritual fathers. Okay. They are our fathers. They were, they're our elders. They came before us. Okay. It says, the Lord hath brought great glory by them through his great power from the beginning. The Lord always spoke, okay, out the mouth of his prophets from the beginning, okay, of time, okay, and great glories being 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 shown by them. They are glorifying Yahweh Bashim Yashai in 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 truth and sincerity, okay, with great power, okay, with moral excellency, okay, because it's not about the it's not about the speech, but of the power, you see. It says, such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies. Okay, and these men in this in this in this time, okay, they're giving good sound advice, good counsel, okay, because they understand a lot and they're declaring prophecies, you know. The Apostle Tahar, Apostle Ramla, Apostle Gabar, they're always going into the prophecies, man. It says leaders of the people by their counsels and by their knowledge of learning meet for the people. Wise and eloquent are their instructions. Okay. And um, if brothers remember when they used to get together at Apostle Hart's house and uh, do, uh, um, you know, um, the channel was breaking strongholds, man. They used to go in. 
they used to go in. I used to I used to always be amazed at how the uh, the apostles would, uh, you know, bring out such knowledge, you know. And, 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 and when you see the videos of them street teaching, man, you know, they would always have a crowd of people. You see, so it says leaders of the people by their counsels and by their knowledge of learning meat for the people. Wise and eloquent are their instructions. Right. And they're very wise and they're very eloquent. You know, they're, they're seasoned with salt. They know how to bring out this truth. They know how to uh, teach people even through the Internet, you know, even through YouTube. OK, so that that that's of a truth, you know. What that what what Shabazz the disciples say said, okay, and uh, there you know, you know the the truth is very much well known uh, in the East. You know, there, I believe that the truth because uh, uh, it originated in New York. You know, uh, you know, it originated on the East, but but there is camps all over the all over the world, like like the man said, but. But, um, you know, the point that I want to make is that, you know, the apostles, they're, they're, they're famous men. Let us now praise famous men, you know, great men, men of understanding, men of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. You know, the Lord has raised up, you know, men in these last days to guide people, okay? Okay, this is uh, Sirach 36 and 14. It says, fill Sion with thine unspeakable oracles. And the oracle is basically a message that is divinely inspired by the Most High. And thy people with thy glory. And that dude, uh, Shabazz, the disciple, you know, he was speaking uh, through the oracles. He was prophesying. He was speaking about the chariots. He was talking about the ICBM missiles. And if you take the mark of the beast, you know, you're going to be destroyed. And where did he learn that? He learned that from who? From from the apostles. Okay. It says, fill Sion with thine unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. Okay. Give testimony unto those that, ha that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. All right. And, and the, the apostles, you know, they have a testimony. OK, they, they have a, a very, uh, very um, profound testimony of this truth. OK, so we believe, OK, that, you know, these 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 men are, are, are the, the, the prophets, OK, that are reincarnated from the past. Okay, give give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning, raise up prophets that have been in thy name, and they've been teaching the name Yahweh Bashim Yashai. They've been out there on the highways and hedges, you know, Apostle Har from the last thirty years, you know, on down. Okay, I think the Apostle Har has um, he came into the truth in eighty five. I was born in eighty five. Okay, and I'm what I'm gonna be thirty six this year. So the Apostle Har, man, in June he'll have thirty six years, man. You see. They've been in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, you know, as opposed to other Israelite groups and leaders who actually they stop teaching that name, you know. They always they call on Christ. Some even say Jesus. All right. It says, reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful. Okay. And the Lord's going to reward them greatly, you know, because they they've been faithful. They've been out on the highways and hedges when a lot of these other Israelite leaders they went back into the world. They weren't, you know, they stopped teaching, you know. So, yeah, you know, the, the, the Heavenly Father, he, he sure has uh, visited his people. You know. Let's get this real quick. Let's say. This is a Luke 1 and 68. Blessed be the Lord power of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. Okay. And hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Okay. That horn of salvation. That's Yahweh Shai, that he's going to sit on the throne of David. There shall not, um, one of the, roughly paraphrasing, you know, there would always be someone to sit on the throne of David, you know, which was Solomon, which we know Solomon was Yahweh Shai. Okay, and how do you know these things? Well, because apostles have taught us, man, you know, the, the Holy Spirit. That's how we know, okay, that, 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 that they are the men of the Lord, okay? It says, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, right? The holy prophets taught us these, these secrets, these mysteries, which have been since the world began, okay? So they, the prophets have been since the world began, okay? 
what does it say here? Sirach, uh 36 and 15, give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. Okay, so, you know, that's what we say, you know, Lord willing, we're the hopeful elect that we've been, um, uh, we've been, you know, that, that, that lump, that holy lump of Israel that the, that the Lord possessed from the beginning, the first fruits. Okay. But yeah, the, the scriptures say, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So the Lord always spoke by the mouth of his prophets. Okay. And, 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 and what do prophets do? They prophesy. Okay. And prophesy means to what? To say before. Okay. And the, pro the prophets of great millstone, they always go into prophecies. You got other camps saying, why y'all always trying to prophesy? Why y'all always trying to, um, you know, go into news articles and you want to filter everything through the scriptures. And But that's just what we do, you know, to the spirit, because we believe that we are the prophets that have been with the Lord since the beginning. The hopeful election that says that we should be saved from our enemies and from, from the hand of all that hate us. All right. And we go into... Our enemies, you know, mainly Esau, Edom, you know, a lot. <laughs> you got other, you know, you got these other groups that say, yeah, yeah, don't don't speak on Esau, but you know, we we go in on Esau, okay? Luke one and seventy two, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear, okay? This is this is the. Uh, this is what the prophet spake, you know, starting with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, they 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 always recanted this to, you know, their their uh, that holy seed, that holy line. You know, the Israelites. You know that we would be we would be delivered out of the hand of our enemies, and we would serve Yahweh Hashem Yashai without fear. That we would be saved. That was the promise given to Abraham, also to Isaac, and confirmed in Jacob. Okay, so yeah. You know, and, and who speaks about these things but the men of Great Millstone? You know, they you know, the brothers starting with the apostles on down, they 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 edify and they go into a lot of things. You know, but you got a lot of people out there who who, who <clears throat> you know they scoff and they say that we're the worst of the Israelite groups and you know, they say that we're rapists, they say all manner of things. But you know, there's gonna come a point in time where you're gonna wish that you heard all these prophecies. You're gonna wish that, that that somebody was was putting you in the right spirit, was putting you in the mind, the right mind frame, that was getting you ready, that was telling you, okay, before what would happen. You know, you got a lot of Israelites on a on a family tip, on a on a on a happy go lucky, you know, um burgers and fringes, everything's gonna be okay, but you know. We know that we still got to fight. You know, we, we know that we still have a test that our temptation. You see, the prophets are always going into these, always trying to warn the people, you know, to get the blood off our hands. Let me get that real quick. Salaki. Let me get. Let's go back in the book of Ezekiel 33 real quick. Start at the first verse. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchmen, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. You see? And this, this is what we 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 uh, we fancy ourselves watchmen, you know. We fancy ourselves prophets, you know, apostles, teachers, you know, the different offices that Paul spoke about in the book of uh, Romans, you know, in the book of Corinthians. Okay, this is this is this is what we do. We we blow the trumpet. Now, whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning. When the sword comes and takes him away, that blood is going to be on his own head because that watchman, that that brother, that prophet, you know, he warned that man. OK, and a lot of other camps, they're not doing this. OK. And you can go ahead and read the rest. I'm just going to get to the point. You know, the Lord, he's raising up men who are going to, you know what? Let me get that. The Lord is raising up men who are going to uh, to speak, okay, to the people, you know, 
things that are that, that shall that shall shortly come to pass. This is Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he, and he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the most high for the testimony of, Ye of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Right. Now, we don't want uh, no one to think that we're above Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, you worship Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in spirit and in truth. But the testimony, OK, that a man of the Lord would have. Would be what? The testimony of Yahweh Shai would be what? The spirit of prophecy. Okay. Now this is the spirit of prophecy. This is what prophecy means. And we go into words, we go into the history, you know, we, we you know, we bring out, you know, the whole counsel of, Yah of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is that word prophecy. Strong's G 4394. Prophetia. Prophetia. It says prophecy, a discourse emanating from divine inspiration and declaring the purposes of the Most High, whether by reproving and admonishing the wicked or comforting the afflicted or revealing things hidden, especially by foretelling future events. It says of the prediction of events relating to Hamashiach's kingdom and its speedy triumph, together with the consolations and admonitions pertaining to it. The spirit of prophecy, the divine mind to which the prophet prophetic faculty is due. And you could tell that man, he had a divine mind. You know, he had somewhat of a prophetic faculty in his head. You know, he was speaking of the prophecy. He couldn't he couldn't help. But, you know, he couldn't contain it. He had to say it, you know. Why? Because, you know, he, he had heard this from from who? From me, from elders, from apostles. OK, from the prophets. It says the gifts and utterances of these prophets, especially the predictions of the works of which set apart to teach the gospel, what will, will accomplish for the kingdom of Hamashiach. Right. So, you know, this is what we do. We our discourse is emanating from divine inspiration. We declare the purposes of the most high, you know, by reproving, admonishing, you know, our people, comforting the afflicted, you know, rebuking the wicked, the Esau Edom. Or revealing things hidden, you know, especially by foretelling the future events. So when we tell you that the sword is coming, you know, in 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 when we tell the people that the sword is coming and they don't want to ad 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 adhere to it, then the blood is on their own head, you know, because we did our job, so to speak. We washed the blood off our hands. You know, that's why we 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 believe that we could be the hopeful elect. You know, they would be the leaders, you know, like we read in Sirach. Let us let us uh, praise famous men, you know, men, men that they, they, they had, uh, you know, discourse among the people, giving good advice, leading people to righteousness. OK. You know, and this is what we do. We blow the trumpet. We are, we are trying to foretell the future events. You know, by going into articles, by going into um, the secrets and the mysteries and, and, and revealing them to the people, you know, starting with the, the, the apostles and elders. This is Ezekiel 2 and 5, Salakia. It says, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. You see, whether they hear or whether they forbear. Okay, so... You know, this this is the job of a watchman. This is this is the job of, of of a true man of the Lord. You know, is to tell the people of what's happening, to comfort them. You know, to rebuke them, and you know, to reprove our people. You know, and we reprove each other. You know, you don't see that in other camps. You know, you, there's a lot of respect to persons in other camps, but it's not that it's not to be that. With us, it's not to it's not to be so. OK, it says and whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Right. Our people are rebellious, man. That's why two thirds of our people, they have to perish like that, like that dude, uh, Shabazz, the disciple said, you know, if you take that RFID, you know, there's a missile with your name on it. And that's very much of a truth. Yet shall know that there has been a prophet among them, you know, and that day you're going to see. OK, when all these things come to pass. You're going to know because you're going to you have heard this before, 
okay and if you don't take heed to the to uh the sound of that trumpet okay your blood is upon your own hand but you know if, if you do take heed and you change and you turn from wickedness then then you know then you have delivered yourself man and that prophet has has done his job you know he's a true man of the lord okay and you got a lot of prophets that you know false prophets out there that they don't do that you know they don't care about the flock they're just hirelings they're just there for 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 the meanwhile for money for filthy lucre Okay, they're not there to, to, they don't really care about their people, although their message sounds all nice and fuzzy, but in reality, you know, sometimes you need to be told, hey, get yourself together or else you're going to perish. This is Ezekiel 33 and 30. Also thou, son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. Okay. All right, you got a lot of people that, you know, that, you know, they, they, they watch the videos and they at their house or whatnot and, and, um, you know, they murmur against the, the apostles and they say all manner of, of things, you know, about Great Millstone, you know, but they still, they're still listening, <laughs> you know, they, you know, they're still saying, hey, is that what the Lord's speaking? Is that what he say? You know, you got dudes doing parodies, even this dude, Shabbat the Disciple, you know, who he could probably just be, you know, a, a, a hearer and not a doer, you know, of the word. Okay, it says, and they come unto thee as a people cometh. And they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they shew much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. You know, and, 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 and a lot of our people, they, they do that, you know. We have to be weary of covetousness, man. You know, we don't, you know, be content with what we have, you know, not, not things of the world or things that don't belong to us. But our people, yeah, they'll sit before us, they'll hear the words, but they, they won't do them. You know, and they show much love, like, yeah, brother, you know, it's good. You know, I'm glad you're doing this. I'm glad you're doing the word. I'm glad you, you know, you know about the Lord and thank you, man. But they don't do them, you know. It says, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. You see, so it's likened unto what? You know, to 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 someone who, who, who um. You know, who who has a nice voice, who plays an instrument well, okay, and is, is singing a good song, you know, but what, you know, they, they don't hear the words, you know, they, 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 they don't, they don't do them, you know, they're just, they're just, you know, lip service, you know, eye service, you know, it says that when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Okay, so when all these things come to pass, when this lovely song that we're singing, okay, that they don't want to dance to, when, when it comes to pass and it will come, okay, then they're going to know that a prophet have been among them. But, but by that time, it's going to be too late, you know, so if you're listening to the prophets, man, then, you know, you know, take heed because they're wise words, you know, they're words that will lead you into salvation. Okay, they have the proper doctrine, you know, especially the, the apostles and the elders, the brothers on down in Great Millstone. Okay, this is Luke 13 and 35. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. And verily I say unto you, ye shall not see me until the time come when ye shall say, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Okay, and you don't want your house to be desolate, man. You don't want to be, um, you know, taken by surprise. Okay. And, 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 you know, when the next time, you know, you see, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, you know, you're going to, you're going to hope, you know, before the Lord comes, you're going to hope to hear the word, you know, and you're going to say, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. You see, because a lot of people, they, they, they hear the word, but they don't want to do it, you know. It says, Behold, your house is left unto you desolate, and verily I say unto you, ye shall not see me until the time come when ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Right? You're going to wish you are, you, you're going to wish there was a brother. You're going to wish there was someone to teach you, you know, this truth. 
you know, that came in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahshai and giving you the raw, the raw deal. Okay, but by the end, you know, it's going to be too late. Your house is going to be desolate. And Yahweh Shai is going to come back to judge you. Okay, so I just wanted to, uh, you know, bring this out. You know, a lot of people, you know, you know, it's going to come to pass. And when it does, they're going to know that a prophet had been among them. You know, they've heard a prophet. There's, they've known that, you know, the prophets have been out there. Okay, and the prophets are here back on the earth again today. Okay, so take heed, you know. And with that, I want to say Shalom.